Hey guys! This video is going to be all about my Sonia Kashuk brushes. Um, I'm so excited to share it with you. I actually got a request, my first ever request, so that's cool also. And um, yeah, I'm just going to talk about my Sonia Kashuk brushes that I purchased at Target. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I do want to mention one thing though. Uh, just kind of keep an open mind. My Sonia Kashuk brushes make up probably 90% of my makeup brush collection. Uh, I also don't have a lot to compare my Sonia Kashuk brushes to because I don't own things like MAC brushes. Um, I have one Sephora brush. I don't own any Sigma or any Crown brushes. I have a few Coastal scents, you know, and a few drugstore other brushes. But just keep in mind that I don't have a lot to compare them to. So my opinion's kind of you know, kind of biased in a sense. But anyway, with that said, I'm going to... So the first brush that I want to show you is my powder brush, and it's absolutely probably one of my favorite brushes. I use this every single day. The way that I like to use this brush is I apply my liquid foundation first, and then I usually set my foundation uh, with some kind of powder, whether it's pressed powder, loose powder, translucent, whatever. I just kind of lightly tap it into the product and just sweep it over my face. If, you, um, if you're if you someone who wants a lot of coverage, um, I would suggest not using this brush. I would suggest buying maybe like a Kabuki because this is just really great just for like um, a light application of powder. So I love it. It's not super dense. It's not super small. It's kind of big so it it, you know, it covers a really, you know, wide area. So I really like it. I do want to mention it's not, it's not the softest brush I've ever felt. Um, but it is kind of soft. It's not harsh on your skin, but it's, it's not super soft. So that is my powder brush. And I really, really do like it. And I do suggest this brush. The second brush that I want to show you is, I believe, called the highlighter brush. I'm not sure on the name it's, it's been a while since I purchased this but it is a dual fiber brush you can tell you have the short black bristles and then the longer um, the longer white ones this is a stippling brush and I absolutely love it when I first bought this my original purpose was I was gonna use cream blushes for this even though I saw it in the package and I knew it was gonna be way too big for blush I mean it takes up like my whole cheek more of actually more my cheek but anyway I still bought it and I was like I'm gonna tr I'm gonna try it I know it's gonna work for cream blushes and it did but you just have to be really careful when you apply it because this thing can um can buff it out really well and it'll tend to like spread but anyway after using it for my cream blushes I decided to use it for my foundation and that's when I really fell in love with this brush I use liquid foundation, I use Revlon Photo Ready, Revlon Color Stay, whatever. I use this to stipple it on and then blend it in. And I have to say, I am absolutely in love with it to apply my foundation. I find that it gives me such a flawless coverage. I really like how it blends in. And I like how, because of the stippling, the brushes, because of the dual fiber, um, I really feel like it, it, it helps me... Um, from using too much product because I'm one of those people who tends to put to kind of cake on their foundation their liquid foundation and this really helps me to blend out my makeup it really helps me to apply less liquid foundation which is always a plus so I really do like this it's really soft um, I'm gonna say now um, shedding you know I can't really tell you how much this one sheds and how much that one sheds because to me that's not something that I really care about so also just keep that in mind too that yes my brushes do shed um, but for me it's not an issue so I'm not going to really bring it up because I can't really say this brush sheds more than that brush because I really think they shed all the same but anyway continuing Okay, so the next brush that I purchased is going to be my flat top blush brush. And I have to say that I really, really like this. It has short bristles, it's very dense, um, and it's also very, very soft. Now, when I first purchased this brush, I my intentions were to use this for liquid foundation. And I bought this brush before I had bought in this one. So bear that in mind that this was my first liquid foundation brush. And I have to say that I really did like this brush to apply my liquid foundation. 
uh, I did find that sometimes I would apply my foundation more heavily when I use this brush. Um, just because the bristles are so dense, it has a, it does a really good job of kind of packing on that color. So I did find myself sometimes applying too much liquid found out foundation. And I also found that I had to actually physically use more of my liquid foundation because I feel like a lot of the color would get stuck in the bristles and you would end up using more product. So that's kind of bad. But um, overall, I really like this brush. I didn't find it shedding a lot. And I also found it great for my foundation, even though it says on the packaging to use it as a blush brush. Now... I have recently started using it for blush, for my cream blushes, and I actually have a Sonia Kashuk cream blush. I find it really hard to use this brush with this um, type of product simply because it does pack on the color and sometimes it can pick up too much blush, the cream blush, and um, you know, it can just be kind of stuck there, right there on your face, and it can be too pigmented. So sometimes I don't like to use this for my um, for my cream blush. I tend to just stick with my fingers. I find that um, I get a much lighter application. So I would say this brush is good for liquid foundation, but less good for blush. Um, but that's just my opinion. Anyway, moving on, I have the large foundation brush, and um, I do like this. This one was okay. I have a problem with cleaning this brush, and I don't know if it's me personally. I mean, I clean all of my brushes the exact same way, but for some reason, I just have a really hard time getting the, the makeup out of this one. I'm not quite sure. But, you know, it's just a flat brush. It's just your typical liquid foundation brush. You kind of, you know, just kind of paint it on with your skin. I like this brush, but again, sometimes I felt like I was using too much foundation with this brush. If you're someone who is considered, you know, heavy-handed, you know, I would suggest using um, the highlighting brush to apply your foundation because you do get a nice lighter coverage. Okay, and my last of my face brushes is my blusher brush. Now this is what I use for my powder brushes, blushes. Um, I absolutely love this because it's a contoured, it's an angled brush. It's very soft. Um, and it's really small. It's perfect for your cheeks. I mean, I I have nothing bad to say about this brush at all. It's perfect for applying my br my blushes. And so yeah, this is probably one of my um one of my favorite blushes. So now I want to go onto my eye brushes, and I have several different types of brushes. The first um, brushes that I'm going to start out with are my small eyeshadow brushes. I have one in the white handle and also the black handle. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the ones with the white handle um, simply just say the Sonia Kashuk symbol on it and it's just a very sleek white handle. If you buy the brushes with the black handle, you can tell that it's curved. You can hold the brush by this end or you can hold it in closer and they're kind of... Um, I don't know how what you call this, like um, aerodynamically designed or something, um, but the black brushes are more expensive. But anyway, um, I do have the two flat shader brushes. They're basically the same size. They're paddle brushes. They're really small. Um, these are perfect for your eye, for applying eyeshadow onto your lid. These are great for packing on the color. I love them. I have no complaints about them. They are perfect. They're small. They're convenient. Yeah, I love them. I love them. They're great. Another brush that I want to show you, um, I'm not sure what this is called, but it's a very, very tiny, tiny brush. It's very, very small. Um, I like this brush a lot. I use it for applying my inner corner. Sometimes I use it as a smudge brush to apply under my lash line. Um, you could use this for concealer. You could use this for, I mean, really anything. Um, if you're doing small detail, maybe you want to cut the crease or something. I don't know. It's a very, very great brush. It's very, very small. It's very thin. This is another another great brush. Blush. Brush. Brush. Another great brush. 
The next brush that I want to show you is my crease brush, and this is a round crease brush, and this is a really great brush for applying um, eyeshadow to your crease. This is really great for when you want to pack on the color. This really does pick up eyeshadow well, and it really does concentrate it into the crease. So I really like this brush. I have no complaints about it. I really do like this brush. I don't use it a whole lot, but overall, I love the brush. Alright, the next brush that I want to show you is my um, crease brush. That then This is the brush that I blend my eyeshadows out with. I absolutely love this brush. It's a domed shape brush. Um, and it's, it's, it's fantastic. I use this to blend out my eyeshadows in my crease. And I also use this on occasion. Sometimes I like to apply my eyeshadow on my lid. I like to apply it kind of... Um, you know, instead of instead of packing it on with my paddle brush, sometimes I like to kind of lightly dust it onto my eye. I love this brush. This is probably my favorite blending brush that I have that I use to blend out my eyeshadows. It's not the softest brush, but I do use it. Sometimes it can be a little harsh in the uh, in the corners of my eyes, simply because you know your eye area is delicate. Um, this brush can irritate it just a little bit but overall I really like this this is the brush that I always go to so yeah I like it so the last brush that I have to show you is a new brush that I recently purchased and it is my pink kabuki brush and I absolutely love it I have to say that the only reason I probably picked it up is because it's pink it has like um, a dark pink top and it's kind of got a lighter um, lighter bristles on the bottom. I absolutely love this. If you find this at your Target, I really do suggest that you buy it because 15% of the money that you spend on the brush goes to um, the Breast Cancer Research Foundation or something like that. So, you know, it's a good cause. But anyway, I picked it up because this is my first ever Kabuki brush. I haven't used it a lot, but um, I have used it to apply my foundation and I... I tried to use it to try to see if it can really buff in the color and you know I think it works great this brush is so 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 soft and I have to admit that even though it may shed a little bit um you have these cute little pink bristles all over so I don't know I don't mind that it sheds because it's pink and it's cute this is a softer brush than this and I really do feel that they kind of do the same thing even though this is a much denser brush, I still feel like it's not its not as dense as most kabuki brushes can be. So I feel like this can be really like a multi-purpose uh, brush. So anyway, back. So this concludes my review for my Sonia Kashuk brushes. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you got some useful information out of it. If there's a question that you have about the brushes, uh, please comment below and I will definitely answer them. Um, so yeah, that's it. Bye guys.